Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 The Time Has Come June 2, 2007 From God the Father and Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior A letter given to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear Beloved, hear me, and so do as I command you. For the time has come, the time is here, when all iniquity must depart from Jacob. My children, hear the voice of the Lord your God, your Redeemer. I am He. I am He. And you shall behold my glory, and in Him who I had sent, and am sending, shall you know me. For the Father and the Son are one. And if we are one, then you shall be one in us, in truth. Yea, the time draws hence, when we shall be one in you, and you in us. For I will be your God, and you will be my people. The chosen flock, the flock beloved of the shepherd. Thus says the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, Even all who will come to me shall be mine, and I shall be theirs. For I shall come to live in them and among them, and they in me. Amen. And so it will be at the end of this age. I shall come. Behold, I shall destroy and sanctify. And many, beyond that which a man can number, shall come to me. And they shall be even as all these who have come to me already. My own beloved, who have known my voice, who have believed with their whole hearts, though they have not seen me. For they know me, and I live in them. Behold the glorious wedding party, arrayed in robes of white, clean and shining. Yet what of all these who have neither seen nor heard? And what of all these who have heard, yet refuse to listen? And all these who have seen, yet refuse to discern? What of all these who call of themselves by my own name, who do not obey my voice, and refuse to give heed to my speech? Behold, I have not ceased from speaking to them. I have not ceased from calling out to them. And still they deny me. They refuse to hear. They no longer recognize my voice. They hate the sound of my speech. For they are a rebellious house, a very stiff-necked, high-minded, disobedient house, who do call of themselves by my own name. Servants, hear and know, and be pricked in your hearts. The day of the Lord is here. It has come. Lo, it is here. It has come. Who will go for me? Who shall I send? Who will go out in the name of the Lord God of Israel, and bear upon his chest and in his forehead the name of the Holy One of Israel, your Redeemer? Yahushua, the King of Glory. Who shall suffer for me? Who will crucify their lives for me? Behold, even all those in whom I see of myself, in whom I have come to reside fully, shall go out amongst the multitude. And to these shall I give a new voice, a renewed and strong voice. Behold, they shall sing and have tribulation. Ten days. Lo, they shall be cast into prison and held in captivity by Satan, yet they shall by no means be bound, neither can their mouths be stopped. Yea, I, even I, shall free them, and they shall fly away on the third day. Yet a remnant of these I shall leave behind to gather in the wild flock, the lost and scattered flock, the dispersed of many nations. Behold, they shall fall and wail, and I myself shall comfort them and guide them. For these I must bring also. And these, even these, though they are broken, though they shall suffer many bruises, though they become the flock of the slaughter, by no means shall they pass from my sight. For even all of them shall behold my face. And when the time comes, yes, it shall surely come. I shall slay all 
who sought harm against my anointed. Behold, I shall make a great slaughter, even of every wicked person who took part in your deaths, O most beloved of my heart. They shall be torn in pieces. For you have suffered here amongst these wolves. They have torn you and bitten you. Yet you sang. Oh, how beautiful did you sing. And lo, your voice reached into the hearts of the multitude. And by the power of my own spirit did you testify to the greatest of all loves. And in that same moment were you slain and lifted up to heaven. Yet your words did not return void, for the hearers were also slain, even deep within their hearts. Behold, as the sand on the seashore shall they run to me, and from among them a great remnant shall emerge, who shall flee all these abominations, and hide from the one who makes desolate. They shall mount up on the wings of eagles, and be hidden for a time, times and the dividing of time, from the face of the devourer of flesh. Lo, he shall be devoured, and those who follow him shall be consumed. Meat for the birds, dwelling place of the worm. No more breath shall they attain, nor shall their souls escape my glory, nor the power of my sword, which proceeds from my mouth. I shall roar, yea, I shall roar as a raging lion, and they shall be torn in pieces. They shall be struck through and consumed, both flesh and bone, and sinew and soul shall be consumed from my presence. For strong is the Lord, hot is his anger, and powerful is the word of his mouth. He shall not spare, neither shall any mercy be shown to the beast, nor to his prophet, nor to any of those who followed after them. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I shall repay. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, the God of all creation. Son of man, tread the grapes in the winepress of the wrath of my fury. Tread them down, O Emmanuel. Tread them until nothing remains. Destroy them, and even all things which have led my people into sin, even all things which have caused them to wander far from me. Son of man, your enemies are your footstool, says the Lord of hosts. Silence them, cast them down, consume them in my fury, consume and destroy. Let them be no more before my face. Repay, says the Lord, repay them double for that which they have done to all those I had sent to them, double for all those who are called by my name, even double, and double again, for all they have done to the little ones, for all the innocent they have destroyed, and for all the innocent they have filled with hate, violence, and sin. Destroy them all, says the Lord God of all created, known and unknown. Serve to them double, says the Lord. And destroy, says the Lord God. Yet do not make a total end. For the sake of my servant Noah, for the sake of Jacob, my Israel, for the sake of Judah, my servant, and for the sake of all these beloved, called by the name of their shepherd, make not a total end. Wipe the slate clean and rebuild. Restore the sanctuary and the garden. Reconcile even all things to yourself. Rule over all nations, tongues, and kindred, even over all things, heaven and earth. Rest. One thousand years. Amen.